Trump's remarkable Arizona speech 0229 Donald Trump is escalating the Cold War with his own party leadership, using campaign rallies and Twitter to chastise Mitch McConnell, the most senior Republican in the Senate, and hurling insults at senators. Senior party figures fear his rhetoric risks effectively eliminating his two-seat majority in the Senate and say the rift could not come at a worse time. Not only do they want to begin work on tax reform, but next month Congress must pass legislation to keep funding the government and to raise the federal borrowing limit. Failure could prompt a government shutdown a financial collapse. On Tuesday Mr. Trump used a campaign rally in Arizona to accuse one of the state's senators of being weak on immigration. After promising not to use his name, he repeated the jibe on Twitter yesterday and named Jeff Flake. Phoenix crowd last night was amazing a packed house. I love the great state of Arizona. Not a fan of Jeff Flake, weak on crime border, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump August 23, 2017 He also kept up a steady string on attacks on Mr. McConnell's tactics, urging him to change Senate procedure. He wrote if Republican Senate doesn't get rid of the filibuster rule go to a simple majority, which the Dems would do, they are just wasting time Rich Galen, a veteran Republican strategist, described going after Mr. McConnell, who controls much of the Senate's business agenda, was nuts. Mitch McConnell has reportedly not spoken to Donald Trump for two weeks credit app it's another example of Donald Trump having no understanding of how this system works, he said. He can intimidate any around him in New York putting up buildings or buying golf courses and he thinks he can intimidate these guys who were independently elected, and who didnt run with him. The president and his Senate lieutenant have not spoken in two weeks, according to the New York Times, after the last conversation escalated into a screaming row over the investigation into the Trump campaign's possible ties to Russia. On Wednesday afternoon Mr. McConnell attempted to silence talk of a rift. The president and I, and our teams, have been and continue to be in regular contact about our shared goals, he said in a statement. If Republican Senate doesn't get rid of the filibuster rule go to a simple majority, which the Dems would do, they are just wasting time. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump August 23, 2017 The party ructions were among the topics he addressed before his fervent fans in Phoenix. Away from Washington, he looked at his most content as he resurrected the freewheeling style of the 2016 campaign, flinging insults at opponents, threatening to shut down the government to get funding for his border wall and accusing the media of twisting his comments about recent violence in Charlottesville. If Republican Senate doesn't get rid of the filibuster rule go to a simple majority, which the Dems would do, they are just wasting time. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump August 23, 2017 And just like the campaign, thousands of protesters gathered outside. Police in riot gear used tear gas and fired pepper balls, projectiles that release irritants to disperse crowds after missiles were thrown. Officers said they made three arrests inside Mr. Trump brought the crowd to a state of high excitement as he hinted he was preparing to pardon former Sheriff Joe Arpaio, convicted of disobeying court orders to stop his immigration patrols. He'll make a prediction I think HES going to be just fine, he said to cheers. Trump threatens. Government closure 0057 He was at his most animated when defending himself against accusations he was soft on white supremacists protesting in Charlottesville. He pulled the piece of paper from his jacket and reread his initial words condemning racists involved the protests. Did they report that I said that racism is evil to which the crowd shouted, no the president turned his attention overseas, claiming his hardline stance, promising fire and fury, had earned the respect of North Korea. Some people said it's too strong, it's not strong enough, said Mr. Trump. But Kim Jong-un, I respect the fact that I believe he is starting to respect us. Newly released photographs suggest otherwise. Analysts say the diagram shown with Kim Jong-un displays a new variant of solid fuel rocket credit Reuters Kner hours after Mr. Trump's speech. North Korean state media reported that Mr. Kim had visited the Academy of Defense Sciences and ordered more solid fuel rocket engines and warheads. Concept diagrams of a new generation of missile the Puk Guk Song 3 could be seen on display in official photographs. Analysts say it suggests North Korea is intent on developing missiles that can be deployed more rapidly than those that need to be fueled with liquid propellants, making them less vulnerable to pre-launch attack.